The stock market has been crazy as of late and I just want to talk about one thing that is very, very important in a crazy time like this. And that is a balance sheet. So the balance sheet doesn't matter at all until it's the only thing that matters. Because if a company cannot continue to be in business, then you have nothing to hold on to as the equity holder or the stockholder of a business. And obviously we don't want that. So what is the balance sheet? There's three financial statements, balance sheet, cash flow statement, income statement. So the balance sheet is the financial statement that holds the assets and the liabilities which make up the equity. So if you think about assets, things like cash on hand, things like your property and your plant, if you're a factory, all of the equipment you have, your accounts receivable, all of the credit sales that people owe you, the customers owe you. So all these things that you own, assets, kind of think of it as things you own. And then liabilities are things that you owe. So debt, accounts payable, things that you owe to vendors. So assets, things you own, liabilities, things you owe. And basically what happens is the delta between the assets and the liabilities is considered equity. So assets minus liabilities equals equity. So if you think about this, all of the assets, if they're dwarfed by liabilities and all of a sudden you have to pay debt service and interest expense on your debt, then you don't even have enough cash to cover that, then you will go out of business really quickly. So the important thing is to check the balance sheet, check how much debt the company has, subtract the cash, and if there's way more debt, then the next thing you want to do is head to the income statement. So on the income statement, under revenues, under gross profit, under operating expenses, there'll be a little line item called interest expense. So what you want to do is if the company has a lot of debt, you want to check that interest expense against how much cash the company has. So if the company has a billion dollars in cash and interest expense is only a hundred million, so that means the company can really last 10 years, right? A billion divided by a hundred million equals 10. So that means the company can cover its interest expense for 10 years. So that's obviously really important because if the interest expense was 1 billion and they only had cash of 500 million, that means the company would only last about six months, especially if it couldn't sell any of its stock to stockholders because the stock was down a lot. So you really want to compare how, what is the interest expense to how much cash is on hand because this really gives you a sense of how viable and how strong the balance sheet is. So this is just a tip and trick for financial statements. Please use this because you don't want your company to have a sketchy balance sheet, especially in a time like this. All right, have a good one.